Alright, so it's 5 in the morning, and I'm awake, my husband just left for work, so I am going to start working on some tunics. So right now, I've drafted out the measurements for Thomas, which is my husband's brother. Um, but basically, what I'm going to be making is a simple medieval like shirt slash tunic. This is a straight shirt, um, so it is historical. This is kind of what the pieces look like. So this book, by the way, is the medieval tailor's assistant. So um, they give pretty good, accurate information for historical garments of the like medieval period. Silly girl, you needed attention. She's missing her buddies more, Ghana and Arthur. They used to be her play buddies, and now she just is playing with my own cats and snuggling with them now. She's going to need to get adopted. She is so playful and, like, energetic and spunky. She just has the spark to her personality. <laughs> yeah, you're so silly. You going to be my helper? Okay. So... I don't even really need a pattern for this, but I figured, you know, why not? Um, so, whoops, there goes my marker. <laughs> so this is, this is basically the pattern. It's just like a rectangle. Um, if you cut it on the centerfold, like a regular pattern, this would be half of like, say the front. And in the back, I would uh, just cut it down a tiny bit more. Not quite as much as the front. And then we're going to add, yeah, like a slit in the center front. I didn't know how long it is because I know you don't want to show, like, too much chest when you're a man for, like, historical context. But we're also considering looking for some fancy trims see if we should put anything uh, my husband was saying maybe like a silver trim with the blue of Thomas's tunic would be very princely <laughs> oh Elaine sweet girl what are you doing I haven't had my coffee yet I should probably make some coffee just kind of marked where I think the side slit would be left open or vent per this book um, or slit you know whatever you want to call it. Um, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is eight inches, maybe potentially a little bit higher, but I don't know, maybe it should be about 10 inches. I wonder if proportionally that seems right. I don't know. That's just a general uh, idea of where it might be. All right, so I have all of the pieces cut out for the two tunics. Um, so there is a front and a back. There are two sleeves and then there are two gussets um, for each of these tunics. There aren't going to be gores because this is like the straight shirt, so this should be super easy to do. Hi, baby. Are you Cocoa Bean? Oh, you need her some lovings? Yeah. Okay, so now that all of the fabric pieces are cut out, I can start assembling these. Alright, so I have the main body pieces of the tunics pinned together, and I left spaces for the neck hole on both of these tunics. So now I'm going to sew straight across where the shoulders are, and then we will work on the sleeves.
So we just went to Joanne's and we got some trims. So this is my husband's tunic. I'm still working on hemming some of the edges, but we thought of using this as a trim on his. As like, you know, a peasanty trim to kind of jazz it up a little bit. And then for Thomas's, we got this silver. I don't know, we thought it might look nice as a trim. We'll see. And then for mine, the gold trims were kind of expensive, but I got this and I think I'll just put it on the neckline. It's like, there's only like three yards of it, I think. I mean, not three yards. One yard? I think there's only one yard. Uh, yeah, it's three feet, so I, there's just like enough to put it around my neckline, I think. So I think it'll look kind of cute on it, so. That's what we have, our spoils for today's Joann's is it? Um, and I'm nearly done with these. I just have a couple more edges that I need to hem and then put on some trim. In case I don't get a, like a video or a picture of Thomas wearing it, his tunic is done. Sorry about the mess, but that's his. I'll get a video of my husband's maybe a little bit later, but we're gonna play some Clank Legacy right now. So I am gathering my stuff up. I'm gonna give him Thomas his tunic and we're gonna play a game. And here is my husband's tunic. So his is complete. Both of the tunics that I'm uh, making for the guys are done. I'm almost also done with making like a, a women's Viking apron dress. Um, so I might do a video on that, but it's almost done. I made almost the whole thing in one day. So it was a pretty simple make. Um, and I guess I'm just going to go ahead and end the video here. Um, my husband's at work, so we can't really try this on for a video clip. So, um, and I don't want to bug Thomas right now. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go ahead and call this video done. And you guys will probably see them in the tunics because I am thinking of vlogging while I do go to the Renaissance Fair for the first time. So you'll probably see what we all look like in that video. Um, so I'm going to end it here. And I hope you have a good day. Bye.